There are fleets who often run short-haul legs daily and could be benefited by each driver running multiple route legs during their shift. The redispatch tool in Direct Route and DR Track enables fleets to create and edit multi-stop route plans that use a driver's work time efficiently. In this video, we'll provide an overview of the redispatch tool settings that direct the algorithm to build additional trips for the truck and allow the driver to execute multiple route legs during their shift. Let's begin. Redispatch settings are configured in the truck file. Go to File, click Open. Select the truck file's file type from the drop down menu. Select the truck file you want to edit. Click Open. The truck file loads. There are three columns in the truck file that control redispatch attributes. Redispatch. Redispatch minimum time, abbreviated as MinTM. And redispatch turnaround time, abbreviated as TurnTM. Before you can build a multi-stop route plan or configure any of the other redispatch attributes, the redispatch column must be set to true. The redispatch minimum time setting indicates the minimum number of work hours that must remain in a driver's shift before the algorithm can plan more than one route. For example, Let's say a driver worked 11 hours on their first route, leaving three hours remaining in their 14-hour shift. If the redispatch minimum time is set to four hours, the algorithm will not create a secondary leg because the new leg would exceed the 14-hour max work time. Redispatch turnaround time is the amount of time it takes to reload the truck after it has returned to the depot and is indicated in minutes. For example, if 30 is entered into the redispatch turnaround time column and all criteria are met for redispatch minimum time, the algorithm will build in 30 minutes between routes for the dispatched legs. You have completed the redispatch functionality overview training video. To learn more about this product, Visit our Learning Center to access on-demand training and online help.